Newa. Uh-uh. Elewa. Ai. Anwa. Ha. Our dancing. Welcome to another episode of Basic Bambara. Ne Tokoko Kolman Donald San. This is a project from Ankata, my initiative to create media and resources for speaking and learning Monday. Are you new here? Think about subscribing. In this video, I'm going to cover pronouns. We've already done them implicitly in a few of the other Basic Bambara videos. Ibo don, do you know them? If not, I'm going to cover them in full in this video. Specifically, I'm going to cover three things. Singular pronouns, plural pronouns, and finally, when to use emphatic pronouns. Do you need a little help learning what's in this video? There's a link down in the description below. You can get access to a text, audio flashcards, and a quiz that covers all the material in every video in this series. Otherwise, ankata. All right, so there are three singular pronouns in mandang. Mm. Meaning, I. Mm. Second, we have i meaning you e and finally we have a which means he she or it a no need to worry about the gender of a person or of any things note that i did put a little accent mark or what linguists call a diacritic a grave one right above the letter a i typically don't mark tone in this series of basic bambra but there's a reason that I've done so here. So just remember that that word a ah, is actually a low tone. Unlike in English, these pronouns do not change depending on whether they're subject, object, or part of a possessive noun phrase. Once you know them, you know them. But we actually do have alternative forms of these three pronouns, and they're known as emphatic pronouns. So, actually, when I gave you the three pronouns, I should give them in full like this. N, ne, meaning I, n, ne. Then we have i, e, and sometimes ele. That's particularly popular with Jula speakers. I, e, ele. And then finally, we have a, ale which means he, she, and it. A, ale. So despite the name emphatic pronouns, generally speaking, emphatic and non-emphatic pronouns are interchangeable. You can use pretty much either one whenever you want. There's a few limited cases where you have to use the emphatic form, but I'm gonna cover it, uh, one instance of that a little bit later in this video. Right now, let's look at some examples from na baroke. So see if you can pick out the pronouns in the following examples. Ah, ne kwa ne bobo e. Ne kuke. Kaile dare Emerson. Kasoro alefana alefana mai alebe duguto kofeli. Aiwa. As you might expect, for plural pronouns, there are 3 of them and they are going to be un meaning we, un. Then we have au meaning you all, or you plural, au, and then finally we have u, meaning they, u. Okay, so what about the emphatic form of plural pronouns? Well, I actually already gave you one. Let me give you all of them together though and see if you notice what I did. We have un and au, meaning we, un, au. Then we have a, au, meaning you all, a, au. And finally, we have u, olu, meaning they, u, olu. Did you see what I did there? I actually earlier gave you the form au, which is the emphatic version of the second person plural, meaning you all. Why did I give you au instead of a? At the beginning, I did it for two reasons. First, au is more widely used by Bambara speakers than the non-emphatic form a, though there are a few cases where you definitely will have to use a, such as imperatives, but we'll cover that later in this series. Second, I did so because you may have noticed that a 
looks almost exactly like the word he, she, it in its non-emphatic form, a, and that's because the only difference between them is their tone or the relative pitch or frequency at which they are pronounced. Here in this video, I've used the diacritic to help show that underlyingly the two words are pronounced differently, though it's a question of relative pitch. It's not an absolute one is always ah, and the other one is ah. It's gonna be in the context of a sentence that one is noticed as being higher or lower. Don't worry about it for now, just know that the convention that I'm using of writing a diacritic on the top is not necessarily something that you'll see in all Latin-based Bambara scripts. It's worth noting that none of this would be an issue if we were reading and writing in unco. In the unco system, tone is systematically marked. You can't write a word properly without marking its tone. Anyways, the point is, is that for you, in terms of saying you all, you should generally just go with au because it will be easier and more clearly distinguished from a, the third person singular. All right, it's time for some examples from Na Baroque. See if you can pick out the plural pronouns in the following clips. All right, so if emphatics and non-emphatics for pronouns are more or less interchangeable, why do we distinguish them at all? First, it's because they can do different kinds of work. Emphatic pronouns allow you to draw attention to a particular pronoun in a sentence. For instance, ne ye i faye, meaning I am your father. But notice how we used ne instead of n. Ne ye i faye potentially draws attention to the fact that you're saying something like I am your father as opposed to I'm your father. Second, there are some grammatical constructions that will require that you use an emphatic form. Of course, if you used a non-emphatic form, people would understand you, but you're gonna sound less natural. Let me give you two examples so you can get an idea of what I mean. Emphatic forms are generally required when we're using presentative sentences. So, imagine that you are looking for your favorite hat, fugulan, and your friend is helping you out. They hold up a hat thinking it's the right one, but in fact it's not. In that case, you would respond to them, Alete, that's not it. And in that case, you would not be able to say ate. You want to say alete. Another example is when we give a pronoun following the word ani, which means and, or more literally, it and. It's frequently used in list situations when we're providing a few nouns at a time. So imagine, for instance, that you're on a trip with your friend Musa. You're, you call another friend on the phone and you say something like, Ne ani ale be sicaso. Him and I are in sicaso. But because we've used ani, we need to say ale as opposed to a. Ne ani ale be sicaso. There's definitely other situations in which native speakers will more naturally use emphatic forms. My advice to you, though, is not to get too caught up in trying to figure out any of the rules. It's something that you'll learn implicitly just by talking and listening. Iowa, that's all the standard pronouns of Bambara and Jula. Did you like this video? Do you wish there were more videos to learn African languages? Think about becoming a patron or throwing me a tip. There's a link down in the description below. Iowa, ni diara ye, alaga wati wera yirana, kambe.